Hello, so welcome back to the very last episode of this whole web series. So in this episode we're just going to go through the design and tweak a few things like spacing and fonts and all of that good stuff. So let's get on with it. Sorry it's taken so long to get around to this, I got sidetracked with a few other things. But today we're going to finish off the actual design, so we're going to add in the uh, custom fonts on the logo here, on these sections and this section, and we'll just sort out some of the spacing on these images. So if we crack on with it, so I'm just going to minimise this. So in, in the actual design itself, we want to create some spacing between this image and this bit of text here. So I'm going to select the text and go to Code. And then just below here, I'm going to put a page break in. So I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to need it in a second. And I'm just going to paste another one next to it. And now if we go into the design, you can see we've got that little bit of space, which just frees it up a little. I'm going to do the same on this one. So just in here, put in two page breaks, which just frees it up. And then do this one as well. like that so that's looking a bit better now so I'm going to save that and just refresh the web page so now if we come down that's got a bit more breathing space which just looks a little nicer now the final thing that we need to do is actually change the fonts to the custom font so you need to go to this website here which is called Qfont there will be a link to this in the description below now you need to download Qfont so you need to click on this first and it gives you all of this JavaScript so I'm going to select all and copy that and go back into Dreamweaver and inside of the JS folder I'm going to right click it and create a new file and just call this qfon.js for JavaScript open that up and paste that in save it and if you can now close that we don't even need to edit any of the content inside it now we need to include that on this page so I'm going to go to the code view come all the way up to the top so I'm going to copy uh, this script tag here and paste it below. I'm going to change the name just to qfon.js. So that's now included that. So now if we go back to qfon on the web page and just go back. So we need to upload that the ala font and it will then give us a JavaScript file. First of all, you need to find the font in your Windows directory. So if you go to Windows, Fonts, you'll find it in here, which is called Alla. Um, so I just copied it and saved it on my desktop. So what you have to do is come down to this section here that says select the font you'd like to use and click on Choose File. So I've selected the Alla font as it says here. Then you have to come down and select here to agree to that and come all the way down to the very bottom, agree to the terms and click on Let's Do This, which then gives you this uh, JavaScript file. So you want to save that into your JS folder. So I click on save and that's that portion finished so we can get rid of this now. So if we just go back into Dreamweaver and if we refresh our panel down here, you can now see we have the, the new JavaScript file. So I'm going to grab one of these and paste it below Qfon. Then I'm just going to copy the name off the actual file and paste it over here. So you should say ala underscore 700 dot font dot js and save that. Now we've added all of that in so we now need to add the code into the functions file to change certain elements on the page to the ala font. So if we open up the functions file so once we're in here to actually replace the fonts we need to just come just after this closing bit here and we want to say qfon with a capital C dot replace and then we can open up a bracket and single quotes and then if we close the bracket off and then close that off so now in between here we just need to tell which elements we want to have the font replaced so if we just save that and go back to the index and if we go to the design view we can see this so we want this section here so if we just look at that in code view that's an actual h1 tag so all we'll do inside of here is just say h1 now the next one if we come down is this one here I want to change that one so looking at that that's a h2 so we're just going to do h2 add a comma um, and if we look at the rest of it if we come down I want to change these ones as well so these are h3's so again h3 
add another comma, uh, keep coming down, I want to change these as well, looking at these anyway, they're H3, so we've already done that one, uh, if we keep coming down, I think that's about it, so if we just save that, in fact if we just remove that comma there and save it, and if we just preview this in the web page, and if we hit refresh, you can now see that the fonts here, that's now changed to, to the Q font a la font, and it's done the same thing here, so the same thing on the gaming mobile and desktop, and it's also done it here, which now gives it a different look, not having the same font everywhere. So that's it for this series. I just want to thank everybody for watching, leaving comments, subscribing, all of that good stuff. I've got plenty more videos coming up, more series. Hopefully I'm trying to get some giveaways. Um, so I'm in talks with people at the moment, see if I can sort that out. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.